It's very exciting to introduce our new co-host, my mom. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I bend, but I, I can't. The table's in the way. Oh. Do you know what a boomer is? A baby boomer? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Do you know what me. it means, though? When well, you call yeah. someone a boomer? Yeah, well... I used to. I, get, I, we used to stop at all the fast food stores. Remember, that's how I used to bribe you to go shopping. That I would get you um, a corn dog. Yeah, I have trauma from you guys basically just feeding me fast food all the time. Oh, God. I talked to my therapist about that. Really? One is called no cap. No cap. No, there's so there's no cap on something. No cap. Right. So it's you would off, say, the, off the off the ceiling or out of this world or hmm. or. Well, I think what it means is, so here, I'll give you a usage. Okay. No cap, this is the best food I've had. So that's a, that's a good thing, because if you put a cap on something, you can't, you know, if yeah. there's no cap, then yeah. it's yeah. It, infinite. Right. It's, right. It's, it's good. Right. So uh, no cap. Okay, I figured that one out. Well, no, no cap means I'm not kidding. Do you know what lit means? For example, you would say, you know. On fire? L yeah, lit. And, yeah. So like, you would say like when you light a match, you say it lit. was lit. It was on I fire. I had six mango white claws at the saddle ranch last night. It was lit. It was good. It was good. Congrats, you nailed that one. Bruh moment. Bruh moment. Well, a lot of people I've noticed your generation say the word bruh a <laughs> yeah. lot. Bruh moment. Finding my parents' sex toys is a major bruh moment. <laughs> Well, then it's an awareness. Yes? An awareness? Like uh, a surprising? I think you would call it a, a yeah, surprising. A, a, an impactful moment, maybe a moment of, of a surprise. Do we like that definition? Shock? Shock. Yeah, disbelief, a bruh okay. moment. Where you just say to yourself, bruh. This hits different. Hits different. This hits different. Hits different. So this pineapple and olive pizza hits different. So it's unusual. It's good. Exactly. Oh. Rent free. Rent free. This person is living in your mind rent free. Um That you, well, obviously, you think about the person mm -hmm. without them doing something. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe they're in love with you. Mm -hmm. Obsessed with you. Yes. Rent free. Yeah, you're obsessed in their with this person because they're good. in your head. Yes, you'd okay. be living in their head rent free. Okay, what is the what is the new word? I could really go for a glizzy down my throat right now. A glizzy. I want to gobble a glizzy. Glizzy. Gobble a glizzy. Glizzy. Okay, put it in context. I could really go for a glizzy right now. That really doesn't help. I like my glizzy with mustard and ketchup. Glizzy. A hot dog? It is a hot dog. <laughs> wow. Well, you... well yeah, I was trying. I mean, I didn't know how she was going to get that. A glizzy. Let me guess. Let me guess. A tea. Are you... Um... Go ahead. Just the ha the happenings, the uh, the uh, the current events. Not no? specific enough, Dad. Go ahead. Drama. Drama. Oh. Coming out with that two thousand. Drama. That two thousand points. So uh, T is drama. Double jeopardy. Yes. Where's the T? Oh. It's okay. All over YouTube. What is the origin of T? I know there's the Kermit meme. Is it really the Kermit meme? No. What is T? Why? Where does T come yeah. from? Yeah. Um, beef. We haven't talked Where's in a while. Where's the beef? What does beef mean? If you have beef Something's with someone. Something's beefy. Someone that's big and... No. no. If you have beef with another person, what does that mean? Oh, you have a beef with them. You have an, a disagreement. Right. A conflict. Right. Very good.